my teaser alert in part one eluded to the fact that I managed to get into the motor room of this 1970s express lift. Let's take a look then. On my first visit the door was locked, but what you get from a Mr Matt and Mr Che video is the dedication to bring you interesting videos to watch. I have standards. Not being content with just a ride, I made various phone calls and emails to reach the caretaker who has kindly agreed to let me in. Um, original um, floor select has been, I don't know if you're interested in any of this, but the original floor select has been removed. That's the electronic version. Yeah, probably because the mechanical one failed, I would guess. This is not the first time I've seen an express lifts controller. If you have a look through my channel, I have various videos explaining the relays and control systems. Most old control cabinets have exposed terminals with voltages that you do not want to touch. What I'm saying is, if you find yourself in this kind of environment, it's probably best not to touch anything.
the replacement electronic floor selector has the same wiring and functionality of the Mechanical Express Lift's MH52 selector. I was looking for a manual to download for it, which wasn't quite as simple as I thought. So I created an account to pay for one. Well, let's just conclude by saying it has the same functionality as the old mechanical one. If anyone has this manual, they wouldn't mind sending me a copy, then, with a few exceptions, I'll give you a definite mention in a future video. To find out more about these lifts and controllers, please take a look at these videos. Any relay starting 200 is an up button. Any relay starting 300 is a down button. So that is the ground floor. Up. The first ones go through what the relays do. This one goes through the basics of the equipment that runs the lift. Then I do some experiments on the relay logic from the motor room. If this isn't enough, then I've gone through in detail how some of the relay logic circuit works and created some of it using an online every circuit designer and emulator. I also have ones that explain how the Otis systems work, which in my opinion are a little bit more fascinating to watch than Express. If you go to my Only the Best video playlist, you'll find these and all my favourites.